Uh, so why are carbon nanotubes so, so, so strong? Well, first, we, we should clar clarify how, how strong are they. So if you look at Young's modulus, that's uh, essentially the tensile e elasticity, you know, how, how much uh, stress is, is, is required to strain the material a, a, a certain amount. And for a carbon nanotube, it's very, very high. It's one of the highest for, for, for known materials. It's about 1,000 gigapascals. Compare that to wood, even, even though wood's also made, made of carbon, it's only about 10 gigapascals. Pascals, and, and this is still still high, uh, higher than steel, which is 200 gigapascals. So e even though both of these are made of carbon, in in wood, the the carbon atom itself can can hybridize. It, it hybridizes in in what's what's called an sp3 hybridization state. So th this forms a a single carbon carbon bond, which is relatively weak. It it takes about 84 kilocal kilocalories per per mole to to break this bond. But in a in a carbon nanotube, you you can get uh, you can get all of the carbon atoms in in this sp2 hybridized state. This gives you a a, a double bonding between carbon atoms that incre increases the energy to break that that bond to 150 k k cows per, per per mole. And a carbon nanotube is one of the only ways that you can get this sp3 hybridized carbon in an extended structure in these uh, rings called ar 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 aromatic rings. They can they they share a, a, a bond. We draw this as a cir circle. They they share a bond, and it, it's in the extension of, of this uh, large bond energy throughout the entire entire structure that, that you that you realize your 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 high high modulus.